Hey, and welcome back. For the past couple of months or so, I've been checking out a new podcast from Orlando Drummer. He's a pretty big figure in the social media drum world, and I've been a fan of his content and his website for a number of years. In this podcast, they do a segment called Accent or Ghost, where they either approve or disapprove of a different gear or topic in the drumming community. In a recent episode, the co-host Chris presented this unique product by Drum Dial called Bearing Edge Conditioner. Ooh, the Drum Dial, the conditioner. I've seen this before. Go ahead. What's our little yes, blurb here? Yes, the Drum Dial Bearing Edge Conditioner. Strength. I won't include the whole segment from this episode, but if you want to check it out, I'll have it linked down below, or you can search for episode 11 of this podcast. One thing I would like to know, and this might be sort of a silly test to run, but man, it's a big world. Somebody's got to run this test. Has anybody ever a a bead like a dry drum head without this and then put it on and put it back on? And is there a discernible difference at all? I bet no. I mean, I got the impression that neither Chris or Adam had much personal experience with this product, but we're interested to see what it might actually do to affect your drums. I was also surprised to not find much on YouTube of other people testing it out or a being it before and after. Seeing as this product is only $8.99 on Sweetwater, I went ahead and ordered it to at least give it a test run for myself. You receive this small tube of conditioner that looks a lot like a tube of chapstick, and you also receive some brief instructions. The instructions read as follow. 1. Wipe down and clean the bearing edge to remove any buildup of lint, dirt, or dust. 2. Apply the bearing edge conditioner in a smooth, non-stop application to the entire top bearing edge. Rub in excess with your fingertip or wipe off with a dry cloth or paper towel. No need to force down on the conditioner stick. A light touch is all that is needed. Rotate the wheel at the tube bottom to dispense the edge conditioner. 3. Try to keep the conditioner on the top of the bearing edge only, where the drum head comes into contact. Excess conditioner to the bearing edge sides is not necessary. 4. The conditioner stick will form a nice groove to take the shape of the top bearing edge. Excess force is not required. For this video, I went ahead and applied the conditioner to the top bearing edge on all three toms of my Gretsch Catalina kit. I recorded samples before and after to do my best comparison, but as I tune by ear, there's definitely some variables in this comparison. Alright, so as you heard, the sound difference is minuscule at best. I will say when I first started playing drums in the room, I noticed a slightly more open sound after applying the conditioner. I'm not sure it translates on the recording as much as I'd hope, but it was definitely noticeable in the room. In addition to a slightly more open sound, I feel like the head was seating much easier, and I could see this product being especially useful on older drums. These Catalinas are in pretty good shape, but on some of my vintage kits, the bearing edges are far from pristine, and sometimes I struggle to get the heads to seat with ease. I think this could maybe be a nice step in helping smooth out that process. Overall, my use for this product is more of a preventative step I might take with my drums. I wouldn't use it every time I change heads, but I might do it every year or so, just to protect and give some care to my bearing edges. This reminds me a lot of the step I take with my tension rods of applying white lithium grease every once in a while 
just to keep the threads in the best condition possible and avoid any friction or buildup. I think it's probably a similar goal with the conditioner. Occasionally I'll be hired by a school, church, or studio to come in and change heads and do maintenance on the drums. I think this would be a useful tool for those situations, and in those settings the drums see a lot of abuse, and I'm only working on them every year or two. So even though it's not part of my channel, I guess I'd give this product the accent in Orlando Drummer podcast terms. I'll give it the hard accent. It's so inexpensive, and I anticipate this current tube lasting for years. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. Until next time, thanks.